guys. Mm. Riz. Uh, <laughs> what, what happened? Riz. Huh? Riz. His present. His present. Oh, yeah, it's a lovely shirt. shirt. Riz, I'll I tell you what, I really appreciate it. Uh, I was <laughs> stunned at the cost of the tower and uh, how much they sent it over to Australia. Right? But Anyhow, thank you, uh, thank you, Rez. Beautiful shirt. Uh, for, the, for the world to know. Now, a bit of history. Rez came in and, uh, yeah, I got really pissed off with him and, and told him literally to take a hike. And uh, so Rez did some soul searching, always good when you encounter God. And he came back having his own revelations. The angels were showing him information so that he could process and understand what, yeah. But, Yah's birthday present, his birthday was January 11th, of course, and it arrived today, Rez. So in honour of Rez, and thanking you so much uh, for the lovely shirt, it's all cotton, and it's a Vans, hello, this, this is a skater shirt. <laughs> I have a daughter and a son who would be very impressed. <laughs> Not to buy a skateboard, will huh? Well, when it happens. <laughs> I don't think they'll make him strong enough to carry him away. Well, we, we do have that video where you're in the basement, remember, at Burley yeah. Heads? Doing the triple sour cow. Doing the triple sour cow, wearing out in singlet. And uh, anyway, that was a, a, a good bit of editing. <laughs> yeah. Have you got anything to say before I start talking? No, no, you go ahead. Oh, except we, we watched the movie The Island. And um, that is uh, what they're actually up to, uh, cloning people. Um, I was just looking at cloning this morning. And uh, since they did it with Dolly, after uh, 270 odd attempts, now they're doing it, uh, uh, a Japanese man, I think 2012, got a, a Nobel Prize <coughs> for medicine. And uh, he was able to uh, clone sheep. No, sorry, mice. And uh, very successfully, 100%. So now they're doing it to all prize animals in, in the uh, United States and again, all throughout Europe. So if you've got yourself a, a, a racehorse, for example, or a prize bull or whatever, you can get it cloned. But in Korea, for $100,000, you, you can uh, take your dog, let's say your dog dies, you immediately put it in the uh, refrigerator and go to um, a vet who will take a biopsy and send half a dozen biopsy or with a live dog, you can do it as well and they will make you a new puppy or many puppies 100,000 100, and deliver it to your house <laughs> I'd expect so for $100,000 well, I'll love yeah, oh, thanks man. so here's to you, Rez, thank you very much <laughs> now, what I thought I'd do after watching President Trump's Florida speech rally, and he's really been slamming the media, and we all know who the owners of the media is, and I read with uh, glee last night a Haaretz newspaper. Now, Haaretz rhymes with Tourette's, you know that. <laughs> that uh, uh, syndrome where people are, are unable to control their uh, outburst shouting out bad outburst language. of bad language sometimes and, and all kinds of things. But anyway, so Haaretz, which rhymes with Tourette's, had an outburst of insanity as they're literally going, um, calling Donald Trump an anti semite Now this is, this is incredible. Oh. oh dear. Last week, of course, you had uh, the rabbit dog Netanyahu, who seems to be subdued lately for various reasons, getting together with his good buddy, now President Donald Trump. And of course, Trump reassured his firm bond and alliance with Israel, etc., etc., etc. Now, I, I want you to just think about this for a moment because the Christian vote was so important for. President Trump. And we're all lunatics so, that support Israel. <laughs> These these rapid dogs that are uh, aren't Jews at all. <laughs> but uh, DNA even proves it that they aren't even the, the people of uh, Palestine. It goes back to the time of Jesus, and those people then weren't Jews either. They were Edomians. 
<laughs> right? They weren't Jews to start with. Right? Judah is a royal tribe, and it comes down through Scotland, Ireland. Ireland before uh, Scotland. 14, 1500 BC is uh, where it all started. So uh, then the so-called Babylonian priesthood invented the Moses religion. That's what happened. So that now dominates all Christianity, and they're all so stupid. Where Jesus comes along and condemns all of the uh, laws of Moses as being pathetic and evil, and yet they still um, go along with what Moses says in the Old Testament. It's amazing to me how people say. So, <laughs> so here we have the Christians in uh, the USA supporting Israel, praying for the peace of Jerusalem, etc. Israel is one man with Jacob Israel. And Israel was the Nazarene in 33 AD. Let's He's simplify the it. Nazarene let's say, today. You go back to your great grandfather, and his name was Fred. Right. And then, two or three generations later, it's no longer a you, the inheritor of the grandfather's property. It's now given over to some Jews that come from Khazaria that invented the whole bloody thing. And now suddenly, they've gone into Peking and they've had their eyes operated on, they've become <laughs> Chinaman. <laughs> What about Fred's offspring, right? <laughs> well, a word for uh, Israel, Jacob became Israel, so that's the one who loved God. So Israel, the word for Israel is the same number as the word for Nazarene in Greek. So it's pretty obvious, right? And Nazarene is what? Jesus, right? Who was not a Jew. He was, his parents were from Cornwall and Ireland. Right? That's where the grandparents come from. <laughs> so, so, that's so Israel is back today, but he's in his body of flesh, and he's the one and only Lord Jesus Christ, and his name today is Yahweh Jesus Brown, and again, like Marshall, announced by Pope Benedict throughout March of 2013. But anyway, let me wrap this, this because this was so funny. So on the one hand, you've got, you know, all the Israel-loving Christians, we call them something here that's not, but anyway. Um, rooting and just loving what Trump is doing in the stand for Israel. And then you, you, you've, got, you, you've got the Israelis, the ones that call themselves Jews and are not, going, calling him an anti-Semite because of his calling. Well, he is. The but he had to put up with his stupid children <laughs> to marry in Jews. So I'm like, hello, he said, I've got to put up with it. Right. <laughs> But anyway, calling out the owners of the, the uh, media. Well, it's like he's just calling out the media, full stop. And of course, the world knows it's oh, the geez. Jews that own all mainstream media. That's how they've been able to forbid Christ. And it's not for putting him, forbidding him, it's for forbidding you, the. the finding out who I am. Finding who he is, and he's already Look, here. Look, I, I don't really care one way or the other because it's, uh, you, you can't forbid God. I'm here on the earth, I'm going to take over. It's all prophecy. <laughs> Prophecy in the Bible is for predicting that this will occur. So how does prophecy occur? Well, it was already done before the earth was created. Right? So it was already thought out what the hell it's going to be. And then creation occurred. And then human beings occurred after the angels did all these wonderful buildings, wonderful buildings around the world. Thousands of them. Right? And they were giants. And of course, um, over time, we got the modern people coming into uh, the play because the gravity has become higher and uh, you adapt to your gravity. So if you had half the gravity, you'd be three times as tall, right? So it's about that simple. So. Now the wrap up for this intro is <laughs> that because of his speech in Melbourne, Florida, uh, naming Sweden and Brussels and France and what is happening with the Islam invasion, the Muslims invading, now they are the locusts from the bottomless pit, this intro is going in front of the, the video that we uploaded on the 10th of November in 2011 called Alpha's Message for Europe. And then connected to that, I'm going to have the Shroud of Turin is Alive video and the other video that was also uploaded the day after in November 2015 where he's explaining about the royal lineage. It's genetic. So I also want to mention Nibiru, of course, I uh, uh, did a video some time ago, I think 2012, that Nibiru is locked in an orbit around the Sun and uh, it has with it seven uh, planets and uh, these are the uh, where angels live. 
and the angels are coming to the earth. And uh, angels don't die. Um, they're coming to the earth and they are very big, I can show you. And um, when you see them, you'll know them. And uh, they'll be sorting out these, uh, all the evil of the earth. Yeah, they know who's who, who's who, who's who. And, and but we have to show you how stupid you all are. That's, that's the whole point. <laughs> now, to allow Muslims, to allow the Jews to take over the EU, to take over all your media, to take over all your churches, and then convince you that they are the chosen people, they're chosen what Jesus says you are of the, your father, the devil, which is uh, John 8, 44. And he's talking about the priesthood, not the people who were Egemeans, they weren't Jews anyhow, uh, at the time of uh, the crucifixion. So uh, th they were basically Babylonian priesthood. So when Caiaphas, who uh, was a man who was head of the Sanhedrin in the uh, sub-section, if you like, of the Sanhedrin, which was actually in Babylon. Um, his department was, of course, Jerusalem. And uh, he was the one who gave the order to crucify Jesus because of uh, defying the laws of Moses. So, uh, as it turns out, that uh, after the, uh, the death on the cross, the, uh, Jesus appears to him in his locked room with his wife and... Uh, and uh, uh, Father in law, yeah. and uh, he said he could have melted into the floor. Oh, he just wanted to disappear into the floor. He, he, he realized that his this life was. energy just faded from him. <laughs> <laughs> it was an oh shit. Now, that's a letter. <laughs> and a letter he wrote to the Sanhedrin in Babylon. So, it's proving that Babylonian is the influence behind all this. Mystery Babylon. And the mystery of Babylon. Well, it was a Babylonian priesthood that went into the Khazarias and convinced these serpent worshippers and phallic worshippers. That's the ones with the ringlets, right? Uh, that um, they should become uh, circumcised, uh, real smart move, and then uh, uh, become their brand of Judaism. So this was the 800 era, and they did that. Well, let's see the Khazars that are actually mostly uh, genetically have been proven to be of Mongolian, and um, they are people. So if you were to say to the American Jews in particular, in ones up the power, that uh, they are white, they'd be beside themselves because they are a race of non-white. But they appear to be white by interbreeding and so forth, and plastic surgery and whatever else they, whatever else they do. <clears throat> but it, um, during the time of um, the hundreds of years after the beheading of Charles I, people that went from Europe into England were amazed at the Jewish looking aristocrats of England. They'd all taken over. Churchill, for example, his mother was a Jew. Mm. And he was a bastard of a man. So anyway, enough of that. So we're talking over me. Well, just to say, yes, uh, it's a re-uploads from 2015 and earlier with the Shroud of Turin, stringing it all together. Oh yeah, keep your eye on Venus, by the way. <laughs> ah, well, we could put one of those in there as well too. Yeah. So enjoy. Just keep looking up at Venus. So keep on, I've been saying it for, you for decades, keep looking up. And with that, it's an hasta la vista, hasta la vista. and yeah. later gators. Ladies and gentlemen of the Western white races, I am the Lord Jesus Christ. My name today is Brian Leonard Gulightly Marshall. The news of my return has been kept secret from you by Pope Francis, who is a Jew, a Jesuit, and he is a black pope. Below this video are links where you can do the research for yourself. My message to Europe and the Christian world is quite simple. You are my people. You are the lost sheep I told the apostles that I was going to. I, as Jesus, shed my blood to release the Father, God Almighty, that is the Holy Ghost, this is the soul of Jesus, that is myself, on April the 3rd, 33 AD. I'll make it quite simple. If you do not join my holy war, you will join the Muslims and the Jews and I will cast you, along with them, back into hell. Now the locusts are the Muslims who came out of hell via the Quran that was written by the Jews. They have the faces of men and a sting in their tail consuming everything in their path. They're raping your women, your children, they're bashing young people, 